how can you say thank you to people like that? Leon Jacobson called our newsroom angry. News. I did not see anyone saying anything about them people and how great they were. Since he didn't feel like anyone was thanking Beltway Church or the National Guard for saving his life during the winter storm. And I didn't know I was out of air until I woke up gasping for air. Jacobson lives off oxygen tanks, and when the power went out, he only had a few reserve tanks left. I get from my bedroom about four, 30 feet to where I had a spare oxygen bottle because the one I had in the bedroom, I fell over it and busted it. Jacobson's son, Peter, knew he could only last a few hours on his spare tanks, so he called the National Guard for help. They took his machine with him, and they were able to plug it in over a beltway. And he didn't want to go at first. He was kind of nervous. Jacobson Sr. says Beltway gave him food, water, and a place to sleep. When he got back, he was all excited. He was all happy for being over there. And, you know, and he could quit talking about how good the people were. This story started with an angry phone call to our newsroom, but ended with you watching that same man holding back tears. They're the greatest people I ever met in my life. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Marley Capper, KTAB News.